The Clark baseball team is off to a great start at 9 and 2. The Cougars have 17 freshmen on their squad, and that depth has paid off early on. Young, but we're very athletic, um, and we have a lot of depth um, all the way around. Um, unlike years past, we, we were able to go to a lot of different guys so far already. Um, and when someone uh, is having an off day, a lot of other guys are stepping up. So we're always finding someone to do the job. I mean, we've had three games already where we've used 20 plus players. So we're, uh, we feel like we're pretty deep and we're trying to use, utilize that depth and sort of come at people in waves versus you know, our nine against your nine. And so far it's, it's worked out pretty well. With a young team, good leadership is critical. And Clark seniors and captains have been great with the freshmen right from day one in the fall. Our captains have done a great job. Our seniors, um, they just want to win. They want to win. And uh, I think that very early on in the fall, they identified that we had some talent and some depth. And uh, everybody's been on board. Our leadership has been excellent. And uh, that's, you know, talent, talent is great. But without direction, without leadership, it, it doesn't do you any good. And so uh, that's been a really big key to our, to our strong start. And again, Clark is 9-2. and two, And hopefully some of this sun will begin to melt the snow on their field and hopefully they'll be out there next week playing some home games on that turf field. All right, WPI and Mass Maritime Baseball this afternoon clearing the snow off the fields at the New England Baseball Complex. Top of the first scoreless game, Doug Reeves on the hill for WPI and getting the strikeout. Still in the top of the first, runner on Jake Petrozelli. Crushing one, over and out. It is a two-run home run, and the Buccaneers are on top, two nothing. Bottom of the first, and it's a two-one game now. Evan Lacroix singles into right. Nick Comey coming in to score, and we're all knotted up at two apiece. RBI single for Lacroix. Top of the second, Reeves reaching back bringing it, and he gets the strikeout. Bottom of the second, tied at two. Two on for Ryan Trapiano. Trapiano with a blast deep to right center. Austin Lindner scores. Connor Kurtz coming home as well. Trapiano being waved home, and you got it inside the park home run. It is five to two, WPI. And Reeves keeping it that way with another strikeout in the top of the third. WPI getting the win today in their home opener. 10 to 3 is your final. Anna Maria taking on Umaine Presque Game two of a doubleheader. The MCATs won game one. Bottom of the second. Anna Maria up 7 to 3. Joe Fahey, the former Auburn standout, blasting one to center field. Jake Zamora scores. And it's 8-3, Anna Maria. Nate Gray tattoos one to right center. Matt Elliott's picking him up and putting him down. James Marcello scoring as well. It's 12-3, Anna Maria Gray winding up with a two RBI triple. Zamora still in this inning. Crushing one to left, Dylan Carissimo. He comes home to score for the MCATs, 14-3, Anna Maria, and they've got runners at the corners. Trevor Brown hits into a fielder's choice. Run scores, Brown safe at first, 16-3, Anna Maria, and the MCATs go on to win this one, 20-9, to sweep the doubleheader. The Quaybaugh girls basketball team playing for a state championship tomorrow. The Cougars have been dominant during their postseason run. It's been a combination of unselfishness and determination. Playing. We need to keep our heads in the game and focus, and the great passing and the working together really, really makes a big difference. <laughs> we have to still have that drive. We have to want to play. We may not be like um, rivals with the next team, but we still have to come out with that drive. We have to want to win, and I think that we will because, like I said, we've never made it this far, and we want to go all the way. All right, so Quaybog will take on Cathedral tomorrow at 3.30 at Springfield College for the state championship. A dream come true for the Shrewsbury hockey team. They get to play at the Boston Garden and for a state championship. The Colonials enjoying every minute of their ride this year. This team's very special. Uh, I'm proud to be a part of it. It's every day's a new, 
new special opportunity to get another win and keep moving on to get to the garden. That just that says it all right there. Whoever we face, we're gonna have to stick to our game plan, play hard like we have the past two games, and hopefully we come out on top like we have been. All right, so Shrewsbury will take on Old Rochester at the Boston Garden on Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. What a thrill for those kids to be able to play at the Boston Garden, of course, home of the Boston Bruins, and they all watch the bees growing up. So uh, it'll be a, really an experience of a lifetime, and hopefully they can come back with that state championship hardware. Definitely. Big game. Yeah, it'll be That's huge. exciting for them. All right, well, that is all we have for now. Also, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. You too. I know it's his favorite. I like it. It's a good holiday. <laughs> That is all we have for now. We'll see you back here next Monday. For Kevin Shea, I'm Olivia Lemon. Thank you for watching and have a great night.